Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess, which is my other desk. And I've literally just finished recording the other episode uh, of the models, which you can buy for 50 quid or less. But gentlemen, I need your help on how to mount this small EDF unit on my uh, chuck glider. No, uh, I, on a very serious point, I've got a bit of an issue and I'm. I, the, this is the reason why I'm sharing it because uh, I, I'm looking for your input on what you would suggest for doing this. So what my intentions are, uh, is that I just need to walk back to my desk you know, to find the little board, is that what I would like to try and do is create the world's smallest long range UAV. So I've been and bought, and I'll put this up on the iPad, wherever it is, a tiny little F3 flight control board, which I've already just been and preloaded it with iNav. Uh, as many of you know that I've been through a bad experience with iNav, so, yeah, I know I had to set it up now. Uh, this one does have a barometer on it, but we'll keep well away from that. Uh, but with that said, this board is tiny and it will fit in this model because of its width. It won't fit a standard size board in there. But the challenge which I've got is that, let me just get these two bottles here, Mo, is that, haha, she's been imbalanced. But my issue is, and let me just go and grab the iPad to show you this, which is, look where oh there she goes but i don't know if you saw that her cfg point is about there on the wing uh in fact let me just so i can get it to balance again look can you see how far back that cfg point is which then becomes quite a bit of an issue because i want to put a nice motor uh I'm not, I'm not saying a nice motor like it's quite a small motor on the nose and i was going to chop the nose off there uh, in fact, let me just go and get this iPad sat back down. And I'm going to leave all these edits in here because that will just make it easier for me, if I'm frankly honest. Move those out of the way. Is that what I was going to do was chop the... Where's the camera? I was going to chop the, no, the nose straight off there. And I've got a little HK1612 motor to run on the front, which only runs on like an amp or something ridiculous. Uh, so that's the powerhouse which I was going to use. I did notice that underneath this lid, they do have a ball bearing up in there as well, which is a promising sign. But yeah, I was kind of surprised by the C of G being so far back on the wing, uh, because normally what you have with these is the C of G is like a third back on the wing. But in this instance, it's really not. It's right back here. Now, does what, what do you make of that? What would you do in this instance? Because... I, I've got two batteries which I'd like to fit in there. Now I'll use one of these uh, 18650s, but I won't be using an 18650 battery, uh, which is about that size. Uh, I've got two smaller batteries, which uh, which I'll make a 2S battery out of, uh, which are rated up to about 2000 milliampere hours. Uh, and I'm just gonna mount that in wherever I could get it right. Uh, and then obviously in the wings themselves is mount two servos in there. But I am a little bit concerned about the CFG point, CFG point being so far back on the wing. Now, do you feel it's worth continuing with this project to with the CFG so far back? What What's your thoughts? And again, it's just really just an open question for me to share with you, uh, because as a community together, we have far more experience than uh, each of us has individually as pilots and builders. Uh, and this building lark. I'm not too great on, to be frankly honest, and hence the the open question. I'm saying, what would you do in this instance? I, like I said, I'm going to get two servos uh, in the wings and use them as like elevons, like on the wing wing Z84 back there. But that C of G point is a bit of a concern because it is kind of quite far back. And the second I put a, a motor on the front, then that is going to make a nose heavy. Oh, I don't know. Is it worth continuing with this project? I don't know. Let me know what you think uh, in the comment section underneath this video. I would genuinely appreciate uh, your your feelings and your insights uh, on this project. Is it? Do you feel it's worth continuing with the with this specific model, or would I be better off trying to stick the flight controller and say a wing wings L84 instead? But uh, I know people have flown those where for like ridiculous miles, like 
117 kilometers, which is not where I was intending to take this model. I just wanted to, to make the point or just have the challenge of making this one fly uh, for a reasonable amount of distance uh, and get her to do some waypoints, if that makes sense. So anyway, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section underneath this video. So for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode. Uh, and as always, thank you. Cheerios.